Fiordland, New Zealand. I'm off with a bunch of mates for a week-long hunting trip into deep, thick bush in Fiordland. We aim to hunt the famous red deer in the raw period. We're battling hard, thick bush, steep, slippery slopes, difficult weather conditions, trying to outsmart these clever beasts in the hope to get a shot and bring home some beautiful wild meat and some epic memories. Long hard days in the bush from dusk till dawn, really testing our mental strength, physical strength, but man what a journey it was, we got home with some awesome results. Stay around to check out the action. That morning we awoke to good weather conditions and didn't muck around getting straight into it. <sighs> what a morning, we've just been walking for what an hour? Um, hour and a half, oh, two hours now, two hours and it's just been pissing down with rain, no responses whatsoever. We just came to an awesome looking area and um, we've just been roaring every 100, 200 meters the whole way and two animals just came out of nowhere, charged right in, making no noise, um, shit just load the gun quickly, had a few seconds, they moved, took a shot, my scope was just fully fogged up, we just had no time, just, just had to go again. Second shot dropped him, um, bigger of the two. Doesn't look like um, anything amazing, but hey, we're stoked to get an animal on board. He looks all right. We'll go over, go over look anyways. Um, whew, heart's going, man. Never gets old, this is insane. So what, you saw them just charge straight in or what? Yeah, but no replies and they just come straight in, eh? Shit. Man, it was just, just out of nowhere, real dark looking animals too, so we can hardly see them. Let's have a look. Over to the left, eh? There he is. Oh, mean. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Oh, he's a beast. Look at that. Size of the body, bro. Good shit, bro. Congratulations. Shot, bro. Oh, man. What a morning. We, um, it's day three. It's been very quiet throughout the, um, the Fjordlands, um, South Fjordland here, and it's just not quite cold enough. The animals haven't been roaring back properly, and it's just been hard. Um, we had a few close calls yesterday, but We've just been roaring all morning, covering ground, absolutely no responses. And um, then these just two animals just came charging in hot. Um, this beautiful 10 pointer, it's my first 10 pointer. I'm absolutely stoked for a South Fjordland stag. This is, geez, some of them as good as you get, really. They're just, it's an awesome animal, perfectly even. Oh, I'm stoked, man. But it's just weird, the animals, he, he barely smells like he should be pungent, he should be smelling like piss. Um, it's just it's just not quite into full raw yet um, but that's hunting and last year right now same time it was all go so it might just take a, a day or two it could be a hind that's not in cycle yet around the here we're not sure but it is a bit weird but yeah absolutely stoked I think I missed the first shot 
scope was fogged up, it was just all hectic. Second shot, I hit him a bit high, and third shot, just, just dropped him, snapped his back, he's, um, he's down. Man, it's intense, it just doesn't get old. We're just stoked, but yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome animal. Oh well, we're gonna um, get some water. We're thirsty as we're out of water. We're parched, um, cut all the meat off this animal, um, what we can carry back. And we've still got a couple of hours of hunting before we head back to base for the night. Hopefully I'll update you soon with some more action. Back stakes, hind legs, we are deep in fjord inside. That's about as much as we're going to carry out. Still probably what, six, seven hours from the hut? Yeah, a long way from home and um, geez, our bags are wet, wet tents. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a lot of meat and um, we might get another animal on the way. I see quite a few, so. All right, we better get this done and continue hunting. Look at that beautiful, beautiful back stakes. And animals in really good nick. He's got good fat and all. Usually at this time of the of the rut, the the raw they're just stinky, smelly, skinny. But um, yeah, this is going to be good eating for once. Doesn't even smell staggy or gamey. It's beautiful. Oh man, we got a long way to go, bro. How's your pack? Yeah, not too bad. This is us. What a spot. And then these dry rocks. What a morning, bro. Awesome. Yeah. That was a bloody good morning, bro. Seeing what? Three, three deer. Attempted to shoot one. Oh, that's a blessing to take off. Oh. Well, what a morning. What not one single roar today there's two charging on us, us had the two charge in on us need a coffee about to have one um and then one more same size as mine definitely taller antler uh may have been may have even been bigger didn't have the best shot blondie, blondie took a shot best he could um couldn't find the animal not sure looks like we may have missed but um yeah pretty pretty cool morning but it's just weird this is not no one's they're just not roaring back, so um, we finally found a river, stream, nice little perch here, and uh, we're just gonna recharge, have coffee, have hot soup, and then we're gonna um, hoof it back to back to base camp and um, have a bit of a lay day, lay afternoon, and make a plan for our last kind of overnighter before we get out of Fjordland. So.
coffee bar. We're on our way out of the bush in quite low, low land, unsuspecting territory, then suddenly we get a glimpse of an animal. We let off a few calls. A few more, and then Blondie takes a shot. We can't quite see the animal, just a small glimpse of his head. He's just waiting for it to peep around this tree and give him the opening. to the right bro a few meters hey you feel your shot R risky shot but I tried to shoot him right in the middle of the head oh what was he oh it's a small stag let's go have a look eh a risky shot it was no luck on that last year unfortunately so we headed back Back to the hut for a hot shower, cold beer and some food. We were hungry, tired and thirsty. Was that slippery? Back down to the right bro. <laughs> Well, recharged with the coffee somewhat. We're just hoofing it back, back to base, back to the hut. We've uh, hit a main walking track here, so making it a bit faster. And we're just here, uh, yeah, beelining for the hut. Be longing for those cold bears. Good reward after a few hard days in the bush. It's been pretty, pretty feral country, man. Hard, hard going, but man, all worth it. What an awesome trip so far. Cold beer. We we'll have a roast for dinner, I reckon. Too good. Oh yeah, there it is. Halfway home. <laughs> this is crazy. Pretty cool.
Pretty interesting. Uh, Come on, boys. How's the, how's the trip? Come on, quick summary. Exhausting. <laughs> um, no trout fish. Thighs are, thighs are shot. Um, Any deer? Yeah, dragged a big one out of uh, a certain area. Probably the dominant stag, I think. You know, I've been working, wasn't poaching, was it? Working for, I'm not sure how, how you consider poaching, you know. I've, I've been working for a few years now, you know. Yeah, yeah. Chad, send your last remarks, mate. No, I'm still gutted about the tent that I've left up there. And the dignity. And the tent. Al, any uh, last words, mate, from the trip? Yeah, um, <laughs> you, you've just behaved well enough to, for us to let you back again. Oh, except, year, except okay, Michael so. might have lost your favourite fly. Oh, has he? Oh, well, that's that for the fucking that's um, well, you're, all, you're all welcome back with that. Jamie, Michael. first bush, they any raw. How'd you go, mate? Oh, incredible. <laughs> first stag, New Zealand, and. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm good at editing, eh? <laughs> well, guys, what a fantastic uh, trip down here in South Fiordland, New Zealand. Um, Another wicked, wicked week of hunting red deer. <sighs> Just an awesome experience. I've done a lot of things. If you've seen my other videos um, and my last impressions of a, a red deer raw hunt, um, I've jumped out of aeroplanes, I've shot marlin with a spear gun, I've done some crazy shit in my life. But the adrenaline rush of hunting red deer up close in pristine, you know, native bush in New Zealand, just wild deer deep in the fjordland, up close, 20 metres, 15 metres, 5 metres for some deer, hearing them roaring in your face, there is nothing that beats it. It is just a experience, whether you're a hunter or not, I, I recommend any, anyone to um, try and get into and, and experience because it's, it's special. But yeah, um, some awesome memories made once again, some beautiful meat to take home. And yeah, we'll be back at it next year. Yeah, just phew, love it. Love the outdoors and we're just blessed here in New Zealand with just the epic country and things to do all within a couple of hours max flight from home. So get into it guys. Hope you get inspired by some of this. Um, and yeah, please, again, write a comment below any tips and tricks you have for me because oh, if you like that, hey, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more hunting, spearfishing content, click subscribe down the bottom. Um, leave a comment if you've got any recommendations for me. Tips for, you know, hunting overnight, camping. Jesus, only my second year raw hunting, but it's, um, yeah, so I've got a lot to learn. Awesome experience, awesome times. Leave a comment. I'm an amateur, still lots to learn. If you want to check out uh, my merch, you may have seen Michael in the video wearing Primal Pursuit hat. There should be a link in the description below, primalpursuit.co.nz. That helps a lot on my journey, helps support the channel. So yeah, feel free to check that out. We'll see you out on the next adventure. Cheers.